Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the bed rug impact liner on this 2021 and up body style F-155 and a half of bed. For this installation, I'll be using a T30 Torx bit with an electric driver, a utility knife, and a pair of scissors. Well, make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when you pull it out of the box, you have two main pieces. We've got the sidewalls and bulkhead piece all in one piece. Then we also have the floor and tailgate piece that's all in one. Uh, now, the floor and tailgate piece, it was all rolled up, so we laid it flat, put some weight on it to get it nice and flat. Um, I recommend that you do that before you get started. Next thing we want to do is zip these two pieces together. We're going to go on the driver's side at the tailgate end and do that. All right, so what we're going to do is line up our zippers. And then just start drawing it together. Now, it's helpful to get them nice and lined up before you pull the zipper through it. That way you're not fighting the zipper through. All right, now we're gonna zip it all the way around to the end. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and pull it to the end. Let me go ahead and show you real quick though. Uh, you may have seen me do this uh, on the edge of the floor portion. I like to kind of pull up on it a little bit. That kind of clears the zipper from hanging up on it as you're going. It does fight you, but just bear with it and you'll get through to the end. Now, before we get into the bed of the truck, we also need to prep that bed. If you got any tie down cleats, those need to come out. Also, if you have the box link system, we need to pull that out too. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now this is one of your brackets for the box link system. If you have this in your truck, you're gonna have four of these brackets. We've got four bolts holding this bracket in place. You wanna take a T30 Torx bit and remove all four of these bolts. All right, we're gonna set that to the side and then take all four of the bolts and put them back in, not all the way. You wanna have about an inch of the bolt still sticking out. All right, now just repeat that for the other three box link brackets. Okay, now on each corner of your bed, you're gonna have one tie down cleat that's held in by two bolts. You're gonna use the same T30 Torx bit to take the, both of those bolts out and then put the bolts back in just like we did with the box links. All right, repeat the same on the other three tie down cleats. All right, now we can go ahead and put the bed rug into the bed of the truck. Okay, now I've got the bed rug in place. It's nice and centered, squared up. I've got it pushed all the way up to the front. I've got my weight anchoring it to where it doesn't shift around. What I'm gonna do is pull one side back and you're gonna notice we've got a Velcro strip underneath. What we're gonna do is take one of our supplied uh, red back Velcros and attach that to it. This is the hook fastener that attaches to the loop here. And we're gonna see when that comes down, it's gonna line up to this groove on the top. So we're gonna wipe that surface down with alcohol. Now we can go ahead and peel the red protector off of the tape and then lay it down into place. Once 
Once it's down in place, we want to bear down on it with some weight to get some good adhesion to the paint on the bed. And once that's set up, we're going to do the same on the opposite side. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take our bulkhead piece. We're going to pull that back. Uh, what we're going to see is on the opposite side here, we've got three strips of Velcro that are stitched into the backing. Uh, so in your kit, you're going to grab some of these right here. These are two inch long uh, strips of Velcro. They're perforated, so you want to pull those apart. And what I'm going to do initially is line up these onto the Velcro where they will be attaching to our bulkhead. We're going to raise this portion up and see where this is going to attach to the bulkhead and evenly space uh, some along here as well. Now, in your instructions, it shows to use a long white Velcro to go along this top edge. Um, and if we were not going to be putting a tonneau cover on top of here, that's what we would do to give it a nice clean look up at the top. Uh, but since there's going to be a tonneau cover covering this up, we're just going to use these pieces up at the top. And I'm going to save this for our tailgate piece. I'll show you how that uh, goes on later. Next, what we want to do is line up the Velcro pieces to where they're going to meet with the bulkhead and wipe down those surfaces where they're going to contact with rubbing alcohol. All right, now starting from the bottom and working our way to the top, we're going to go ahead and pull our Velcro protecting tabs loose. And go ahead and start attaching the Velcro. Make sure as you're doing this, push down on the floor portion of the bed rug to where it's seated properly at the bottom. All right, now we're going to go ahead and pull down the sidewalls. Uh, what you'll notice is about midway up on the sidewall, you've got a long strip of Velcro stitched in and then one stitched in all the way at the very top. Um, keep in mind, we also still have our bolts for our tie down cleats and our box link system that are kind of protruding out. So what we're going to do is we're going to evenly space a few pieces of Velcro here and then a few up at the top. Next, go ahead and wipe down the paint area with alcohol where the Velcro is going to be contacting. Now, before we start setting the Velcro, what I like to do is make some relief cuts where these bolts are coming out. So what I'm going to do is hold the bed rug in place where it's going to be finally resting. And then I'm going to bear in and push on those bolts where they're protruding out. So I can pull it back and see the impression left by the bolts. So here's where the bolts are. I'm going to rotate this up and hold this in place where the bed rug is going to stay and bear in where the bolts are. 
that puts an impression on the other side where the bolts were. Then we're going to take a utility knife and from the back side just cut a little X. Definitely cuts a lot better from the back. And now we can push our bolts through. With the bolts in place like that, we're going to go ahead and peel back the Velcro and stick it to the sidewall. So let's go ahead and do the same with our box link bolts. So since we have the box link, what we're going to do is make relief cuts right where this H is stamped in from the factory. Do the same thing on the next box link down. Okay, now that we've done the same on the other box link, we can go ahead and pull this all down. Pull the red protectors off of our Velcro. And then go ahead and attach the Velcro to the paint on the truck. Make sure you keep the front corner aligned properly. Now let's go ahead and reattach our box link brackets on our front tie-down cleat. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put our tie-down cleat back in place. What I like to do is take out one of those bolts, go through the tie-down cleat, get it started by hand, and take out the other bolt. Put that through the tie-down cleat and get that one started by hand. Once they're both started by hand, we can go ahead and tighten them down. We'll do the same for the box link. Repeat the same on the next box link up. Okay, now we've got this sidewall established. What we want to do is push the bed rug into the corner. That way we can see the two tie-down cleats screws. Holding it into the corner, we're going to push it to the side and make our indentions. Then go ahead and make our X cuts on the inside.
now go ahead and attach the tie down cleat the same way we did the last one. Okay, now to attach your tailgate pillar piece, the instructions are going to show you to use these small pieces of Velcro. You can do that if you like. It does work perfectly fine. Uh, again, because I'm putting a cover on this truck, we're going to be using this long piece of Velcro here just to give it a slightly more finished look on the edge. So what we're going to do is take that long piece of Velcro, attach it. Let me get down to the bottom, take a pair of scissors. cut it to length. Next what we want to do is go ahead and wipe down this surface with rubbing alcohol. And now we can go ahead and start peeling away the tape. The way I like to do it is pull just a little bit of the tape first at the top and the bottom. And then go ahead and make this corner up here. Attach it up top, bring it down to the bottom, and go ahead and peel the rest of the, the uh, tape protector away. And again, make sure you put ample pressure on the surface to get good adhesion to your painted surface on your truck. Now everything we've done on the driver's side, we're going to repeat for the passenger side. All right, now we're going to go ahead and focus on the tailgate piece. Let me flip this over. We've got a couple of pieces of Velcro stripped to the back of it. What we're going to do is take from our kit some of our two inch pieces of Velcro and spread them evenly along the back. We're going to take our long piece of Velcro and that goes to this end down here. And we're going to attach that. Any excess that's hanging off, go ahead and cut that off with a pair of scissors. All right, next we're going to go ahead and peel away our adhesive protectant. Now the best way to attach this without it shifting around is pull the tailgate piece, pull it nice and taut to the end. And once that's in place, go ahead and push down. That's going to set our Velcro. Next for this end, we're going to go ahead and start peeling back our Velcro and attach that up next to the tailgate. Go ahead and make sure you get good pressure down there. You get proper adhesion. Well, that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you want more information about the product, click the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.